Hey, uh, welcome back. So today we're going to learn about the CSS box model. This is this is essential to understanding uh, how CSS works, especially when it comes to layout. Okay, so um, let's do it. So the best explanation that I have found is on uh, w3schools.com. They have this really cool diagram that you're going to see everywhere. And it explains uh, the components of uh, the CSS uh, box model. Now, before we even talk about it, everything, you need to learn something here. Everything in CSS is a box. That's how you have to think in order to design and uh, ideate your uh, your layouts okay so what do i mean by that let's look at a website really quick here so we have this uh, texas.com website all right now you see a lot of elements and probably you can figure out that everything is loud is laid out in uh, very geometrically you know there's boxes all over the place all right but when we but, but when we say it's a box uh we really mean it so let's look at it visually so I'm gonna press F12 on my keyboard to open the um, the console here, and I'm going to add a, a, um, a universal selector here, and I'm gonna apply a border to everything. So border, let's do two pixels, so it's obvious. Let's make it solid, and there it is. Now let me remove this. Now you can see that everything inside this website is a box, and there are boxes inside boxes you know and even the inline text like this uh, right here is also a box um, this circle here is a box so everything is a box all right now let me go back to the css box model now these boxes are formed by these uh, three elements plus the margin okay so the content is what goes inside the box the padding is the internal distance between the content and the border then you have the border and outside the box you have something called margin the margin separates the different elements uh sorry the different boxes from each other so it's really not part of the box but it does affect the way things are laid out on the website all right now we Keep this in mind and now we're going to do a little bit of work and we're going to create our own boxes and we're going to analyze how they work and hopefully later we'll help you to figure out some of the problems you might have uh, with, uh, with building things. For this video I'm going to be using CodePen which is an excellent tool for practice uh, because it allows you to type the code directly into the panel on the CSS and it shows you the preview. This is good for practice, but remember, it's not really that good for development. So try to avoid using it for development, especially if you're learning, stick to brackets or whatever editor of your choice you want to use. Anyway, also uh, for, this, uh, for this example, I'm gonna be using divs because I'm not building a website, so really the structure is irrelevant and uh, we're just exploring the concept of a box model. So anyway, all right, so let's start by building our own box. So I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to use the div. I'm just going to put box one on it. And we're done. We have our fixed box, uh, first box. All right. Now, in order to see it uh, for us, let's, um, let's apply a class. So I'm going to say class equals, and it's going to be box. Now we're going to go to our CSS here. And we're going to uh, create a class for box. And uh, so we can see it, we're gonna add, we're gonna start adding a background. So, okay, I'm also gonna use the names, not the hex code for the colors because, again, we're practicing, but don't ever do it for your development. Use hex codes, RGB or RGBA. All right, so the div is a block element. That means that by default, it's gonna use the whole length of the page, unless you set a width, all right? So in order to see this better, we're gonna go ahead and do that. But this is already important information, okay? So if you don't apply the width, it takes up the whole space. That's why block elements separate uh, each other, like paragraphs, headings, and all those uh, ULs. You know those are block elements. All right, all right. So let's um, let's set the width, okay? And we're gonna set the width to 200 pixels, okay? And there it is. So now the, the the box is only using 200 pixels. 
Now, when it comes to uh, design, you can set the height, but most of the times we don't because you want to leave the height open. So if you don't define the, the height, the box is going to accommodate for the amount of text that it has. All right, so I'm going to give you an example right here. So if I if I add some lorem lorem ipsum here, okay. Notice how the box automatically uh, grew to to accommodate for that. Now let me pick it up. So that's another consideration that is very important. So in this case, uh, I'm setting the the width to uh, 200, and I'm gonna set the height to 200 also, so we can see it. So so height, let's see 200 pixels. All right. So now we have our box. Um, all right, very good. Now let's add a border. So let's say the border is gonna be, I don't know, five pixels. It's gonna be solid, and I'm gonna leave the default color there. So I could add a color, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add it same color, so you can see the whole thing. All right. So that's the um, yeah, ten pixels. Okay, more obvious there. All right, now the other thing I'm gonna do that you don't have to do, it just looks weird like this. So I'm going to set the line height to see 200. Okay. All right, and the text align. So it's on the center. All right, so that's not necessarily, it just looks better. Anyway, so these two things are not important at all for a council. All right, so now we have our, our box, okay, uh, that we created. Now let's look at it. So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to select inspect to open the um, develop, um, the development tools. All right, now let's look at the box here. So, wait, so sorry, inspect here. All right, so now here in this box model that that it has, uh, we can actually see we have 200 with the width. We didn't set any padding, which we will. And we have 10 for the border all around. And then we have 10 pixels for margin. Now here is showing the margin because there's nothing else next to it. And because it is still a block element. So even though we set the width to 200, it's not gonna let anything come on that side unless we change the display, which we'll do um, at some time time in the future anyway so here it is all right so if I go here and uh, yeah why not uh, we forgot to set the padding uh, padding is not obvious because the because of this so tell you what let me remove the line height and the text line okay and uh, yeah there it is so now we can see the padding so border height okay all right I'm gonna go in order so I'm gonna say padding and let's do another 10 pixels. All right. All right, so it's back. So now let's go back here and call the uh, call this again. And now you can see that it's showing the 10 pixels of padding and you can see the shading on the box too. All right. So again, this is how the every element on it, uh, whatever it's a paragraph, it doesn't matter, it's a box. All right, now, Let's uh, duplicate this code here so we can have two boxes. All right, so let's do that. All right, now we have two boxes. Now we're gonna throw a wrench in all of this. So what I wanna do now is we're going to create a bigger box, we're gonna call it big box, that can accommodate these two boxes, all right? So to do that, uh, let me see, I'm going to create another div and I'm gonna put a class of big box, right? Then I'm just gonna take this closing div and I'm gonna put it there. So now, uh, let me format this. All right, so now the big box is around all, 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 both of them, all right? Now we are gonna add some CSS to big box so we can see it. So, all right, and we're gonna start with the color, uh, background color. So it's going to be, uh, let's make it green again. I'm not using hex codes, so there you go. All right, so that's the, so that's the big boxes uh, around them, okay? Now, we want to make sure that this box is going to be able to do a good job holding these other two boxes. So let's set the width. 
All right, and what you might think is that the width for this one is going to be 200 because that's what we have, right? The width of these two boxes is 200, so let's try that, all right? And um, full flow will be short. Also, let's work with the height. So height is uh, 200 and 200, so it's, that should be 400, right? Okay, well, that would be too easy, right? So it didn't work. All right, so let's see why it didn't work. So we said the, the height... 200 and 200, we might think that's what it is. But if you go to the box model here, the actual height of this or the width is the content plus the padding plus the border. And then we also have to take the margin into account, okay? So this is the actual height, border, padding plus content. Uh, so let's look at it. Um, let's fix it. So if we're going to fix the height first, you know, it's going to be, uh, actually, let's start with the width. So we said it's 200 plus we have padding of 10 plus a border of 10. We're going to leave the margin for later. But um, so we have 10 and 10. Um, okay. So that means that the width should be what? 220, right? Mm, let's see. All right. Not quite because we have a border and padding on both sides. So this is double then. So let's see, 40. Okay, and we are a little bit short because we also have margin here, right? So let's see, yes. So let's see, it's gonna be 250, okay? And it's twice, so 260 again. All right, so we have that. Now we're gonna fix the height, and we're gonna go through the through the same process. But it's gonna be a little bit more tricky. All right, so let's do it though. All right, so for the height, we have padding. Now the padding is gonna be four times because we have four boxes. So one, two, three, four. That's forty right there. Okay. Then we have the border, which is another 40, so we're ready to 480, all right? And now we have to deal with the margin. Now, here with the margin, this is something really annoying, I will say, because margins collapse on the top, on the left, not on the right, sorry, no, on the top and bottom, not on right and left. So that means that right now we're dealing with 10 pixels. So let's do 90, okay? All right, and, and see the differences here that now with the margin, because it's collapsing here and here, that means it's not showing. We have only the one on the middle, but the box is gonna look different, all right? So if I want a perfect box that would, that would similar to the size, uh, then what I need to do is I need to calculate the other, the other, um, the other 20, which will bring it to 510, okay? But if you can see, it's showing the extra pixels on the bottom. So in order, because of the collapse, collapse means, means that on the top and the bottom, if it has a margin with the parent, it just goes like this. It doesn't show it. So that means that in order for me to fix this and make look the box pretty, I will have to go into the big box and add padding. A padding equal to the margin that I'm missing. So in this case, it's gonna be 10 pixels because that'll add it to both sides. And, and there it is. So now we have a very uh, good looking box, all right? Now, I know this sounds horrible, but now I have good news. There is a way uh, that we can make our lives a lot easier, okay? And I'm gonna show you uh, how to do that. And I will also apologize for not telling you sooner because you really needed to understand this before you can use uh, uh, a little piece of code that is going to make everything easier, okay? All right, so let me show you. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to um, use a universal selector. <clears throat> that universal selector is the asterisk and it basically is going to apply to everything, all right? And I'm going to use something called uh, box sizing and I'm gonna set it to border box, okay? And I'll explain what that means in a second. All right, see how everything changed there. All right, so what border box, box size in border box does, it basically 
tells CSS that when you set the width, you are actually including the padding and the border. You still have to deal with the margin, but the still is a lot better. All right, so that means that now I can go here and I can say, um, let me see, uh, so I can go to the big box here and I can take all the extra stuff. Let's see, let's set it back to 200 and see what happens here. All right, so that's 200 and I still have, oh, let me take the, the padding here. Okay. All right. So I, all I have to do now deal is with the margins, which is uh, then again is 220 because margin goes on both sides. And there it is. All right. Now for the height, let's go back to our 400 here. And all we have to deal again is with the margins, which we're going to set to, to 430 there. And let's let's see what happened because the font doesn't end here, right? That will be too easy. All right, so with my uh, 430, I have, I'm covering these ones and then the other 20 are here because the margin keeps collapsing on the top, all right? So it doesn't matter, uh, it doesn't matter if I do 440, it's just gonna keep pushing that space on the bottom, okay? So let me put it back to 430. So here's a hack. If I want to force the box to recognize the top margin, I'm gonna have to add some padding on the top here so i have to do one pixel all right and there it is so now it respects the margin so i have my 10 actually 31 on the top and then 10 and 10. it's a horrible thing but uh, there's still some things that doesn't work quite well in uh, css hey if anybody knows any other way to fix it using the um uh, <laughs> using using the uh border box uh box sizing border box uh, please share with me anyway all right so that's how the box mode works now i don't want you to be afraid of this all right it's important to understand it but we have other tools like css grid and flexbox that are going to do all the calculations for you and you hardly ever going to have to worry about these things and when you run into them the value of this is really to understand how is it doing and what can you do about it, okay? So you can troubleshoot the problems with little things that might um, happen once in a while there. That's all I have. Um, I'll catch you in the next video. And remember to practice your code. Later.